Yeah, hey, welcome to Marty's Beer Show. We're out to the hard work out drinking beer so you can just enjoy it. All right, you weirdos and tight asses, this one's for you. I'm doing Aldi beers, righto. So if you didn't know, Aldi sell beers. Uh, as long as you're not in Queensland or South Australia, due to liquor licensing, you can't get them, which I don't know why. But I was south of the Queensland border recently uh, with my pass and I got some of these. So let's give them a go. Now, Aldi, weird shop. You know, you go in looking for a loaf of bread and you bloody, you come out with a bike pump and a bloody ironing board and whatnot, maybe even and we're not here to review ironing boards and that. But you know there's weird there's weird shit going on in there. And there's weird beer going on in there. Now uh they so they sort of make their own beer but it's it's a it's a you know you don't know do they the people who they're trying to rip off, make it or whatnot. So this one, pure blonde, natural blonde, Cape Cyan. So made for Audi, made made in New Zealand. Uh, blah blah blah. So it's um, you, we know who it's. It's trying to be something else. Obviously, here we go. Four point six percent, one point two standard drinks. But now, when you do a, a homage to another beer. If it's just as good as that beer, now if it's not as good, then it's, you know, it's fruitless exercise. So, buddy, these were eight bucks for a six pack, nine bucks. Fuck, that's pretty cheap for, you know, but cool. Let's give it a go. Uh, natural blonde, not pure blonde. That's... Jeez, that's, so it's, it's a low carb beer. That tastes fine. That tastes refreshing. That tastes crisp and light, like a like a blonde, like a low carb beer. That doesn't taste weird. That's smooth. That's that's pretty good. That is that's a good beer. I um. I should compare it with a real one, but that's um, that's pretty good. Righto, now um, Asahi Super Dry. No, it's not Storm Brewing Co. Super Dry. See what I did there? Yes. So we all know who this is. Uh, paying homage to uh, Super Dry. I did a review on them in my uh, Dry Beers. Check it out. It's really just hours of fun for the whole family. So we've got a um. I just I can't see how strong it is. It's kind of a bit, a bit funny there. Five percent, one point three. So, you know, full strength beer and all that. Um, so these are the main beers I, I found at a, a northern New South Wales uh, um, Aldi. Uh, there might there's some more here and there, but I couldn't find them. And you know, it's just in the name of beer. Like well, I just got. I got lost in Audi. I couldn't even get out. I walked out with so many items. Oh, these. I don't even, I didn't even know I needed one of these, but now I've bought several of them. Just Audi. Anyways, uh, Storm Brewing Company. Super dry. Do it again. I mean, it's very smooth. Very easy drinking. Non-offensive, it's not bitter, it's not sweet. Um, so, it's super dry, so it should be lower carb too, I think. I don't know, this one says it's lower carb than this one. So there you go, that's a good pissing contest, but... That's good. That just tastes like... It tastes like a dry beer, like a super, like a Han super dry, um, or a... Um, or an Asahi Super Dry, which um, were the first dry beer. So there you go. Pretty good, two from two. Very surprised. Uh, next, we've got uh, James Bogues Draft. Oh no, we don't. We've got Fraser Briggs Premium Lager. Hmm. Don't know how I got the two of them confused, but uh, so. So this one, again, made in New Zealand. Made for Aldi stores, so. You know, it's a homage to another 
beer that looks very similar to this. Uh, 4.7, 1.2 standard drinks. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is going to be pretty good. I've got a feeling about that because on a side note, I buy there's a loaf of bread I buy from Aldi recently, and it's actually really good. So there you go, food for thought, literally. Um, righto. So that's where I got the idea for the thing. Anyways, James Bogues Briggs. <laughs> yeah, that that tastes like James Bogues, which I'm not. I haven't done anything review wise, but um, so it's a lager, so it's a smooth drinking beer. It tastes like a premium beer. That tastes. I mean, that was. Oh, I bought these separately six packs. They were eight to nine bucks each for a six pack. So it was about about forty bucks for a carton. Um, but you know, you you some of these beers you can pay twenty bucks for a six pack at Europe. Anyway, so eight or nine bucks. Oh, um, that tastes like a premium beer. That tastes good. It's a bit more. I mean, it's still. It's pretty smooth and easy to drink. There's nothing exciting going on. In a blind test, I'd probably say it all tastes exactly the same. But um, yeah, that's good. That's that is um, pretty easy to drink. Pretty smooth. Cheap as shit chips. Uh, James Bogues, Fraser Briggs, Aldi supermarket. Not the car. Car, different name. Same name. Uh, Stella Artois. Ah, uh, no, Saint Etienne Premium Lager. Continental Import. Alright, so, uh, made in France or France, where you can dance if you want to. Um, so, yes, yeah, made in France but brought in here. Um, Audi is German or European. Depends where you get your um, information from. Um, but 1.3 standard drinks, 4.8, so they're all they're all roughly the same sort of deal. Um, let's just pop this one open and um, tell you what I'll do. I'll pour it in here, and um, yeah. So I mean, Audi, Audi, um, they they were winning awards. Their wines were beating out high class. Um, wine vineyards in their cheap wine so I mean they're doing they're doing some good stuff but anyways Saint Etienne premium lager Salatoire Righto Alright that's more that's what I was looking for that weird taste that you like that's it's a bit out there that's what I was expecting so three out of four Good. This there we go. Uh, it's got a bit of a bitter, a bitter hit, a bit of bitter, better, bitter, bitter. Yeah, it's not that good. Now I've described a few beers before as like a weird plasticine sort of taste. I think when I took the Mexican, I reviewed some Mexican beers, go check them out. Also, awesome. Or not. But, um, yeah, it's a plasticine. That's kind of got that. It's like, it's, it's trying to be a premium lager. But, yeah, it's one of those like, oh, If you drink a beer and you go, oh, Then it shouldn't. You should, it shouldn't. They, we shouldn't do that. We should just go, Ooh. Yeah, so that's. That's the bad apple, um, which is the exception to the rule, because these are, these are all bright, bloody brilliant, so there you have it. Um, now, what you can do, if you're a bit of a tight ass, you rock up somewhere, get yourself one of these, you know, support whatever, get one of them, 
Go like this. No one knows you're drinking an Aldi beer now. You paid eight bucks for this. Tastes good, looks good. Keeps your hand warm. Um, but anyways, yep, that's my review on Aldi beers. Go check them out if you can in uh, New South Wales, Victoria, WA, ACT, Aldi's stock alcohol, Queensland and South Australia. For some reason we can't. But um, yeah, these three, they're all pretty similar, so go have a, have a, have a twiddle, have a swiddle, have a swill, buy some beers, drink beers, thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and uh, if you have any requests for some beers that you would like me to drink, and then, because you don't want to drink them or, you know, whatever, I'll do that, and then we'll just play, uh, we'll drink beers and like this. Mighty's beer show. Yeah.